I play the same game, taking all the blame for you. You got me high, low, there's nowhere left to go for you. And I can't take it anymore, I'm heading out the door, we're through. I am off to find now a legend of cinema. Dorothy Brown. So welcome to Dorothy Brown's Jeremy. This is the smaller of our two screens here, which we fondly refer to as the den. It's definitely an awesome vibe here. I, I could definitely see this as a place I could come to. I could see you relaxing at the back there on one of those throne chairs. Thro see? You already know me so well. Actually, speaking of knowing me so well, it's like this place was kind of designed for a, a day off from touring. You've combined a bookstore, a cinema, a wine bar, um, a dog-friendly place, and uh, you have mulled wine in winter. The perfect thing after skiing, a lovely venue for your apres ski. Yep, roaring fire, nice mulled wine. You can read the magazines or... It's nice on the balcony too in the winter with the sun shining. One really great feature that I observed is intermission. Compulsory. Absolutely. <laughs> it was compulsory because um, our projector um, an old 35mm projector machine, actually we physically had to change the reels and that's how the intermission began. Um, but it's just become an institution here and uh, it's a very good social evening for people to catch up with friends so you can meet at half time as well and discuss what you're thinking about the film. When's the twist going to happen? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I like it. So a question now that I have to ask, seen as you work in a cinema, what is your favourite movie? Just, it's a big question, I know. It is, because I love so many of them, that's why I'm in this industry, but... Do I you have to ask someone who works <laughs> in a cinema what their favourite movie is? It's like asking me what my favourite band is. It's hard to... Who's your favourite band? It's hard to ask, ask that <laughs> question, but I'm not the one being interviewed. <laughs> um, I think I would probably go with The King's Speech. That was fantastic. I do think Colin Firth is a wonderful actor, and um, it had such a hype here, and it deserved to take all the awards that it did. So, yeah, that would be mine at the moment. I have to agree. Yeah, and speaking of the films, if I come here, what kind of range of films can I expect to be able to watch? Yeah, a bunch of options for everybody, all age groups, um, everybody really. Um, we do art house and contemporary films, um, but you know, it's not always about coming to see a particular film, it's about having the Dorothy Brown's experience. So they come along, have you got something to recommend? And everybody needs to know what those films are really and how suitable they are for them. And are there occasions annually or just out of the blue where people can come along and see movies outside of what you'd normally show? Yeah, we have lots of people that use the venue to raise money for charities and they'll pick a movie of their choice. Um, we also have some really fun nights. Last year we hosted the Gay Ski Week screening for the Rocky Horror Show which was hilarious. Um, but uh, took quite a lot of cleaning up the cinema the next day, I can tell you. <laughs> Here we have all the makings of one spectacular cinema experience. Olives, chutney, crackers of all different kinds, cheese, cheese, knife, wine. Take a seat.